Now the latest on the Chattanooga police officers who were reassigned from their reinforcement duties. New Hamilton County District Attorney Cody Womp has been subpoenaed for a list of every officer with a documented Brady violation. Liam Collins is here with more. And Liam, uh, talking about those officers, have they all gone back to their original jobs? Yeah, David, 12 of those 15 officers were put back on their original assignments that they had before they were reassigned, pending an eternal review. But in the meantime, an attorney is raising a flag that their prior offenses could leave a cloud over the department for good. If the county had put one out, or any governmental actor had put one out, that they knew they have, they know they have problems. Problems with officers' violations against the federal Brady Doctrine, which protects information in court. Attorney Robin Flores served Hamilton County District Attorney Cody Womp with a subpoena asking for every officer who has that violation. You got that many officers that are... <laughs> out there locking people up and then have this big cloud over their head. It also goes to the impe you know, the, the credibility of the witnesses. Because keep in mind, police control the narrative. They're the ones that write the reports. In the subpoena, Flores asks for the production of a Brady or Giglio list. That is a collection of officers who are found to be untruthful or who have misrepresented information. Fifteen Chattanooga police officers were reassigned last month after internal affairs investigations found they misrepresented information. Some were found to have filed false reports. In a statement to Local 3 News, District Attorney Cody Womp said in part, quote, In the coming weeks, I will be reviewing each internal affairs file to determine how the violations, if at all will affect pending prosecutions. She went on to say this coordination includes the keeping of a publicly available Brady or Giglio list that would name law enforcement officers who have had sustained violations involving untruthfulness. Flores is representing the estate of Shandel Riley, the woman who died earlier this year during a federal lawsuit claiming a Hamilton County deputy baptized her against her will. In our case, what we're litigating and, and alleging is that there was a pattern and practice for the Hamlin County government that they knew misconduct occurred. Flores believes the existence of the Brady List would help his case. It would also help him understand what other cases the 15 Chattanooga police officers were involved in, while most of them are back on patrol pending an internal review. Now, while batted, the review will determine if the officer's actions were severe enough to disqualify them from testifying in court in any cases. According to the subpoena, the office has about two and a half weeks or more to respond.